the, I went to like like 7,000 doctors and none of them figured out what was wrong with me. Uh, but based on like my, my own research, I kind of figured it might be some sort of psoriasis type of situation. Um, but because of that, my, uh, you know, some sort of pimples used to come up into my hair and my hair used to fall out a lot. Definitely. Take like some really good pictures of like how it looks so that he knows what we're looking for. Dune has came for the resurrection. I need help. Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today. It's a new day, and we got a what? <laughs> Dune. We got a banger. Let's go. Oh, we got banger. <laughs> We got it. <laughs> Don't forget that I'm doing top 10 dreadlock review and also for those of you guys that do have YouTube channel Submit to me your video of you doing my intro and I will put you in an upcoming video because we bought to hit 20k We got today in the building man. What up man? What again we cut? It's good. And uh, you know you guys haven't seen Dune in a while so say what's up bro. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's June 8th. Um, I don't know what to say. My hair is like, what, four years now? Four years old, yeah. Four years old? <laughs> four years young? Dang, that's a long yeah, time. That's crazy. Yeah, that is a long time. Right, let's get you a close up shot so yeah, they can see what, what you're working with. I look kind of rough right now, but. Definitely. I came to uh, Activerse the, bar the Barber. Activerse the Never the Barber no more. But I do cut a little bit here. Yeah, so. Just myself. Dune has came for the resurrection. <laughs> I need help. I just got a grocery store too. Like my hair doesn't like to be twisted. Or interlock it. I did have an interlock. It's the two hundred dollars to interlock it. Start off by telling them, really, like what motivates you to get your hair to this length. Like what keeps you going to keeping your dreadlocks how it is. And you know, a lot of people cut their dreadlocks after two years, three years. Yeah. What keeps you going? Um, I don't want to sound too deep, but my hair is a testimony. My hair is a miracle. When I was young, I didn't have, I had this condition, some sort of psoriasis. I'm not quite sure what it was because I was in Ethiopia. <laughs> the, I went to like like 7,000 doctors and none of them figured out what was wrong with me. Uh, but based on like my, my own research, I kind of figured it might be some sort of psoriasis type of situation. Uh, but because of that, my, uh, you know, some sort of pimples used to come up into my hair and my hair used to fall out a lot. So now that I've been healed from that and I don't have that condition anymore, I've decided I just decided to grow my hair. It's like this is a testimony for me to show how good God is. Like my whole life is a testimony, and this is the normal testimony that I have. I have full set of hair. When my hair used to fall out, it used to be like a lot of bald spots. Number two, my hair is so long. Like I've had my hair for four, I've been growing out, growing it out for about four years. My dreads. Back in 2015, I got hospitalized for uh, some other issues that I was having, some health issues that I was having. And because of the medication and stuff that I was taking, my hair actually fell out again. So now it finally grew back. So like, this is quite a testimony for me to share with people. So if somebody asks me like, hey, what do you have your hair for? Then it's an easy way for me to tell them, you know, this is a miracle, like this is a miracle hair. So that's what motivates me to keep it growing. I don't know how long it's gonna get. I probably wanna leave it right here, but right now it's, it's, it's pretty long, it's four years. Still counting. Did uh, I answer the question right? Yeah. That's really good. Um, what are some things that, uh, what are some inspirations that you took for starting your dreads? And like, why did you choose dreads <laughs> over like Afro? Um, I've always wanted to be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, as a child, like you, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean did inspire me a lot. I love Jack Sparrow, like this look. Um, he, he was a white person that killed dreads, like, which is rare, you know, like, because a lot of people think dreadlocks is mainly for black people and stuff like that. But he is a white person that killed that look. So I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to try it out. And I didn't know it was going to look good on me at first. Like every one of you who's starting on your dread journey, you are going to be scared a little bit. Because you don't know you don't know how it's going to look like. Because most of us, our parents didn't let us grow our hair out. Mm -hmm. So now that you're finally 18 years old and you know you live on your own and stuff like that, now you want to be adventurous. And that's how my life was. And I wanted to be adventurous. And I wanted to try it out, and it actually worked out. 
So, hey, don't be afraid of it. Try it. And keep it, man. Keep rocking with it. You can do so many different styles with it now. So, it's like, it's just endless possibilities. And, you know, it's easier to maintain than have an afro. <laughs> right. You know, you gotta keep up with, the, with your, you gotta keep up with your haircuts. Like Diddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. He used to have an afro, kind of. Curly hair type stuff. So, like, he had to keep doing stuff to, like, Devil Strand Twist, Curly Head, mm -hmm. Braided. Like, if you were that kind of person that likes to, I would say, spend a lot of your time and energy in, um, in a salon, go mm -hmm. for it. Like, if you have a lot of time. But for some of us who doesn't have the luxury of, you know, staying in a, in a salon two, three hours a week, dreadlock is the best way to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to be funny, but do what you want. <laughs> How did you uh, like? How did you start your dreadlocks? Like, what method and where did you see that too? Like, who taught you how to make Gunther. it? Gunther, Gunther the Great is the first person um, to start having dreads, and he did it himself. And he used a crochet hook. Well, first he rubbed it, dry towel rubbed it, mm -hmm. and then um, yeah, he is the first person that I saw that actually did the crochet hook, and I witnessed it, like his his hair turning into dreads. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to, and then he started me out with, um, he bought an actual, what is it, what is it called? Sponge rub? Sponge rub? The, sponge? the sponge rub, yeah. Uh, the sponge whatever to rub your hair. Yeah. He bought that, and then I started doing that, and then finally, I was in Kansas, and I, I did it myself. It took, it took about like a whole month, actually, for me to go through the, my whole hair. I had, I had very thick hair. Mm -hmm. so, so how many, like, dreads did you, do you have, do you know? I have never counted. Probably Close to I'll say fifty. I have fifty. All right, and I have sixty or seventy. You probably have yeah, like yeah, seventy or eighty probably. But you used to have a full dreads. Why did you go from full dreads to tapers and high top now? Because uh, <laughs> well, one of the main reasons is because when I did it myself, this is why I don't recommend people to do it themselves. Like, you know, when you first started, I at least have somebody section it off for you. Mm -hmm. I realized that some of my hairs wasn't like, wasn't structured, right? Like one of them started here, one of them started there. So every time I, usually when I pull it up is when I notice like the differences of where my hair started. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to balance it out. And every time I try to balance it out, I keep making a mistake. So I keep going higher and higher. <laughs> so that's how I ended up, I ended up with this. I, you can, Diddy can confirm, I never liked the high top fade look. Mm -hmm. But this isn't quite high top. Yeah, it's not really. Yet, it's still like right right below high top. So I still like it like this. Because now I can really rock a fade. A nice fade look. And still have like a an illusion that I have a full, um, full head of dread. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh, what inspired you to dye your hair? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just like a... Um, Kanye West. <laughs> you know how Kanye West says that like every time he goes through some stuff, like he dyes his hair? Mm -hmm. um, he was going through some stuff? I don't know. It could be like... I'm not trying to be deep, but your hair, your head, your look, and your mental state, they kind of go hand in hand with each other. So whatever state of mind I was in at that moment, I wanted to dye my hair. So I just... We just did it. We just went for it. But also, like, I, I wanted, I was a little bit experimental. I thought it would look good on me, and actually, I do kill the look, so I feel like it kind of worked out. It does look like good. Bring across, I was like, oh, hopefully it works. It does look good. A lot of people say that it didn't look good at first, but then when they saw it, like, afterwards, mm -hmm. they were like, well, because the first day, like, not the first day, but the right away, mm -hmm. just looked like it was unevenly uh, yeah. colored or bleached, which mm -hmm. that's what you wanted. And a lot yeah. of people were like, what the heck? And then later on, when they saw it, they're like, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah. It gives it, like, what is it called? Not definition. That's character. Character. Yeah. Character. It gives a character to the... Yeah. It's, it's, it makes it unique. Yeah. Like, because a, a lot of people like to dye their hair. And it's like, it's just, you can see the uniformity going all around like that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, that's just basic, you know? Yeah. But when you do, when I, the way I did it, it was like, that's different. Like I say, like, it really is how my mind works. Like... I'm not a like I'm not a super like structured person. I like a little mm -hmm. bit of I'm um, chaos, <laughs> not chaos, but like I don't know how to describe it. Um, just a little bit of like messiness. It's like 
Right, right, right. I don't like when things are like way perfect. too perfect. It's like mm -hmm. then, you know, you have you have to keep maintaining that status. It's like standard, right? Yeah, or oh, standard that you said. That's a better word. It's standard. Mm -hmm. But when it's like kind of different, it's like yo, it's like yeah, it's like in a way I can express myself mm -hmm. a little different. I'm not like everybody else. I think differently. So it's like it's a way to show people that like this is this is how I am. Like I don't think like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I think differently. So the best way to describe that is to your whether it could be your hairstyle or your fashion. That's why people like dress differently and stuff like that because they're trying to show who they are. Like I am not like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so what is a what would you say it was a struggle? Because I remember you saying your struggle was in the beginning, uh, ugly stage of your hair and dreadlocks. What is your struggle now? Uh, Struggle now is it, it. I think it's gone too long. <laughs> hmm. That's what I'm struggling with. Um, yeah, show us how long it is. Yeah. Yeah, show us how long it is, and then you can talk about what what is going on. <laughs> what is irritating you? Okay. Actually, kind of have it like twisted. It's kind of braiding in a way. I was like doing, doing like a, a braid for myself to start looking for tonight. Mm. That's gonna be like. You should have done some like before and after my first start out video, something like that. Mm -hmm. But. This is how long my hair is now. Some of them I did, I did cut. Like I don't know if you can tell, but there's some like difference in the levels. She said one's long. Like this is like yeah. this one's long. Cause like it's from the back right here. That's where it comes oh, from. Oh okay, makes sense. So the struggle is that it's long. Yeah, w once it gets long, it's like it starts bothering you a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think it bothers me that it's long. Um, it's not heavy or anything like that, but it's like when I try to like put it um, into what do you call it? Into a, a bun. bun? Yeah, yeah, into a bun like this. It's like it's a huge, like big old bun that goes all the way up like that. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it. This might be a little too long, but this is the size. This is the height that I want, like right there. Like I want to cut this this part out from anything that doesn't match this, and it's perfect. Yeah, cool dreads. The fact, I don't know. Right. The, the length kind of bothers me sometimes. Most of them are like combined. Yeah. Is the root combined too? Those that are connected already? No, some of them are combined. Is the root combined too? Oh, uh, yeah. All the way up. Oh. And some of them are. They just. The, yeah, it goes all the way up. It's like combined. They're like. It's like. it's it's It divides right here, mm -hmm. but somewhere in the middle it combined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's weird. What happened to the front yeah. hair? Huh? Why is it so short? The front one. Which one? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, those are short. Yeah, that one especially. Is that kind of? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Looks cool though. Yeah, so like it can see levels. Mm hmm. Different type of levels. Yeah, otherwise, like, you know how boring it is to when you see somebody's hair and like everything is just long? Like, yeah. All the way, like, if all your hair is just equal and symmetrical, mm -hmm. that's just boring. Yeah. When it's like this, it's like it's different. You're cool. Like I say, Jack Sparrow is what inspired me. So like his hair, if you see his hair, like there's like a big congo right there. Mm -hmm. He always wears wears that little scarf or whatever like that that he wears, puts in his head. And some of his hair is short, some of his hair is long. So his character is like it's different. What What would you say your next move would be for your dreadlocks? Cut them. <laughs> how many months from now, or how many? How know. long do you want them to be before you cut them? Hopefully, the wife he loves them. Yeah. So if she doesn't love him, then we're gonna have to like do something about it. But I've always wanted to have like a long, kind of curly, frizzy hair. Mm -hmm. So um, it looks really cool. Like that happens. I don't think you understand sometimes how cool your hair is till you like maybe cut it. <laughs> Cause like, no, like I realized how cool my hair is hair when is... I started. Uh -huh. I didn't think it was that cool. Versus now, I look at it in the videos and stuff. I was like, I should have rocked it down. I your hair why. looks so cool when you put it down. Mm -hmm. Like. Cause you have and I don't notice it. Like boom, mm -hmm. like boom, boom, boom. It's like 
it looks glorious kind of and why do you have like white hair like it looks really care like the character is nice on it looks white is it really Purposely done yeah like it looks really really cool uh, like it's no. like spiral like and it just it curls around the whole dread no i just have white so white hair so it's not purposely done mm -hmm. that is super dope i haven't i haven't had white hair in it like Honestly, with I think with me, okay. So every time I get a good haircut, I love my hair more. Right. I have a, the worst barber at home. Who doesn't do it right? Who my cuts part at? <laughs> yeah, it's like, but like, right now when once I see it, like once Diddy cut my hair, or activists cut my hair, like. I'm gonna watch this video. This video is gonna be Yeah, important. like once I cut my hair, right now I like it. I like it. I like it a lot because it like, has structure, and it's just cool. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Mm -hmm. But before the cut, I'm like, ugh. So I, I think that's the one thing I'm kind of iffy about is just like when I don't get a haircut, like, mm -hmm. gotta get this lined up, gotta look fresh, then everything will just set in. Then I was like, cool. You gotta put some hair breaths. But some people don't like how it's like, it's like this, like, 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 you look like you, um, like, you like somebody unprofessional did it or something like that. And I'm like, this is the look that I was looking for. Or like you purposely did it, or you professionally did no, it? No, they they think that um, whoever did it was like, oh, they didn't know what they're doing or something. Like oh, that. I see. But I'm like, no, this is a, this is how I wanted it. it Matches really good with your shirt right now. Yeah, it does. Are you coming back to YouTube? That's what everybody wants to know. The last question. <laughs> my comeback is going to be in a different way. <laughs> one of my videos is actually getting a lot of attention now. The yeah. new one you uploaded? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, the three twist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. I'm like, what? What's going on? I'm telling you, dreadlocks is like iconic to the people, it's especially crazy. like a lot of people saw you when you started it. So I mean, you look yeah. a lot of different, a lot different than now. Mm -hmm. so people was like hard to recognize you at first, but once they recognize you, they like people mm -hmm. even still call me, call me like Dunate's brother or something. Yeah, somebody. Or they say to... like, I seen I seen you on Dunate channel, something like that. I get I get I get a lot of like, are you Actor's brother or something? Like that. mm -hmm. That's what I get because you get you more popular than me now. <laughs> you got like. 20 I wouldn't years. say that, but. Yeah, but I'll come back uh, vlog daily at daily things. I'm trying to lose weight, so that should be like a nice journey as well. Um, that would be a cool journey, actually. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. <laughs> it's probably maybe the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. I think that would be the most inspiring thing you would do. That's true, because I get a lot of fat comments, so I want to shut these people up. You can. It's all in your power. So you can do it. All right. Thanks, Dunay. Thank you, man. Donate. He's got bless. God yeah. Bless. <laughs> yeah. Donate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Woo. Yeah, Nats. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. 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 I'm aiming to be big, I'm aiming to be the greatest oh, ever I'm aiming to be big, I'm oh, aiming to be great, I'm aiming to be the biggest oh, ever I'm aiming for greatness, I'm aiming to be big, I'm aiming to be the greatest ever Yeah, I'm aiming to be the greatest ever Yeah, I'm aiming to be the greatest ever Aiming by the doubt on my targets, I'm aiming it Aiming by the doubt on my targets, I'm aiming it Aiming by the doubt on my targets, I'm aiming it I'm aiming it, I'm aiming it By the doubt on my targets, I'm aiming it I be telling this people that I'm making it I be aiming it, I be aiming it With doubt in your head, I be aiming it